Way back in 1992 was the first time I ever encountered VR. It was those huge arcade units by a company called Virtuality, with massive headsets, terrible frame rates, bare minimum polygon graphics, and nausea-inducing gameplay, they didn't last long in the arcades, but they certainly left an impression. I played a 1v1 robot battle game called Exorex. Fast forward to 2017, and once again I'm piloting a mech in VR, on the demo disc in Scavenger's Odyssey, and with launch title Rigs. Maybe it's the iconic yellow loader from Aliens that was lodged in my memory, but something makes piloting a huge powerful robot extremely appealing as a VR game. Code 51 Mecha Arena is an online PvP shooter in which the player pilots one of several mecha bipeds in a four player fight to the death. The game currently has three arenas, Relic, Siberia Military Base and Chemicals Factory. The developers have continued to update and improve this game, so don't be surprised to see more added in future. Taking into account the budget price of this game, it's not a big issue, and the levels are distinct and well built, and they're really fun to move around, using the environment for cover and to perch atop high platforms, using your double jump and flying ability for some of the lighter mechs. There are several mechs with varying strengths and weaknesses. Ninja, Fortress, Hellfire, Long, Hunter, Raven, Ranger, and Flash Flame, with some of these being unlocked as you level up by gaining experience points. This gives the game a nice sense of purpose and progression whilst you're getting acclimatised. The online game mode is a 6 minute deathmatch, but since the purpose of the game is just big dumb shooting fun, it's hard to imagine how other game modes would fit in. The difference between each mech is pronounced enough to make the choice mean something, allowing you to tailor the gameplay to your preference. There are two basic mech types, slow armoured tank style mechs, and faster lighter framed mechs but each has the unique features such as close combat, snipers, some shoot over walls, some fly, some have homing missiles and others have extra shields. Each mech not only has its basic stat difference, they also have unique special weapons that can be used as long as there is power, the coveted energy central to the game's scene-setting plot of a dystopian world where humans are fighting for survival in the ashes of World War III. Graphics. This game looks really nice. It has crisp, colourful environments and imposing, recognisable mechs that populate the world. The PSVR has a reputation for being prone to fuzzy graphics, but Code 51 is another example, like Wipeout VR before it, of just how crisp, high quality and visuals can look in Sony's headset. The colours, contrast, texture detail and particle effects are all beautiful and help that all-important VR X-Factor, the sense of presence and that this was all done by such a small team on such a small budget is even more impressive. Sound. The 3D audio in this game is so good that you can actually start to trust your ears as a radar rather than looking down to your left to the in-game radar in your cockpit. The gunfire and mech noises are satisfyingly meaty. Make sure you've got some good headphones. This game uses sound very effectively. Motion. The game defaults to the most motion sickness proof comfort options that it has. 
putting blinders around your view at all times that increase whenever you move, and locking the movement of the mech to your direction of viewing. This can be a somewhat cumbersome way to control the ship, and most players will want to switch to the thumbstick control as soon as possible. The game offers you a tutorial, and you can also play offline in a practice mode against bots. The bots in Code 51 are good enough to give you some challenge during the time that you're getting accustomed to the controls and each mech's unique strengths, but it won't be long before you're easily winning every practice round, or the bots only online rounds with ease. It's the PvP challenge that is really what this game is all about, so synchronising with the community will help to find other players. The PSVR community will do well to organise around PvP games, as the pool of players is a lot smaller than your overall PS4 install base of course. One feature that fans would really like to see added to Code 51 in the future is an invite function to be able to directly link your friends to your game. But it's not difficult to organise and to make sure that you're going to be online at the same time as other players. The game was released in the US some months ago, but significant updates came soon after that, so some early reviews may tell you that it is unnecessarily cautious when it comes to motion sickness, but now the comfort options can be switched off, and experienced VR players can enjoy the full weight of immersion, and every mech's speed and manoeuvrability has been increased. With regional crossplay, Code 51 has a good chance of establishing a healthy online community, as PSVR players can also play against their PC counterparts, greatly increasing the pool of players that will be online at any one time. And if the developers can add more content like new maps, this one could run and run. And as a low priced game, Code 51 is worth every penny. I can certainly recommend this game. Gameplay. Code 51 could be seen as a fairly shallow game with just one online mode and no single player campaign outside of the training level, but the all important action feels weighty and satisfying. Mastering the various skills of the mechs gives you a real sense of variety and you will no doubt settle on a few favourites as your playstyle develops. Taking into account this came from a very small team on a small budget, this game feels very accomplished. The controls are responsive and feel just like you might imagine. Aiming feels natural, and there's a real thrill to be had from pulling off tricky manoeuvres. But you'll definitely want to try and coordinate with the community to get matched up with other players, as the AI bots are clearly not as skilled as their human counterparts. Whilst Rigs might remain the definitive mecha battle game on PSVR, if you've played everything that Rigs has to offer, this game is certainly worth being in your collection.